Good morning, YouTube. I believe we got a bunch of packages today, or maybe yesterday, in the mail. We actually have some right here, too. Bobby Wallace, why are you ordering stuff from my house? I'm just kidding. I know we already did because I already opened him up. But let me show you what I got. It's a bunch of stuff for the Evo. I finally got that Supreme thing in. That Supreme tow hook strap thing. Ugh, look at all this junk down here. So what we have, yeah, so we have the Supreme tow hook for the Evo. We have a, a new clutch lever for the R1 because that bike fell over when Bobby was sitting on it and it bent it. And we have a fuel pump. This is the fuel pump I decided to go with on the Evo for a few different reasons. So it's the Asnew 3 30 I believe 330 LPH yeah 330 liters per hour I feel like in one of the videos I said I said 330 LPH which means 330 liters per minute and then I was like wait actually I don't think I put that in because I sound like a retard so we got the pump what are we waiting for now tomorrow the intercooler kit comes in and you know what's funny I'm gonna have so many parts for sale now guys if literally if you need anything let me know let me give you a little list I'm gonna have two ETS intakes for a stock turbo I'm gonna have an ETS open dump downpipe I'm gonna have ETS recirc downpipe I'm gonna have a turbo smart blow off valve an ETS test pipe the depot four inch intercooler and maybe some other things the reason I have all this like duplicates of a bunch of stuff when I bought the intercooler kit, he wanted to sell everything as a whole. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy it all. So if anyone needs any of those parts, hit me up on Instagram at DVNemla. Today's gonna be a pretty sick day. We're gonna be working on the Evo a little bit and just screwing around at home. So enjoy the video. I think later on today, I'm gonna talk about the horsepower of this car right now, how I got it to a 350 wheel horsepower. So it should be pretty interesting. I know it's kind of a, it's like a goal for a lot of Evo 10s is 350 at the wheels. It's pretty easily obtainable or attainable, obtainable, I don't know. Which, which one is it? So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Should be a good one. Let's go see what we got from UPS for Bobby. Bobby, what are you ordering to my house? No, I'm just kidding. I always use Bobby's name or Bobby's account for a lot of stuff. Let's open this up. Sick. Got a hair dryer. So ever since I've been trying to grow out my hair, every single morning I'm having to blow dry it just so it doesn't look so wonky and I haven't done it yet just because I got this one in I've been using Bobby's hair dryer so I got mine in now I can blow dry my hair is that kind of girly I don't really know I want this long I want this like two inches longer on top and then it's gonna look good trust me right now it doesn't look good but hold up all right that's a lot better isn't it oh and by the way I've got a few comments about my videos being in 720 I'm recording everything in 4k now so if you guys want to watch it in 4k just go down below and go to that it's like a little tab and click 4k and you want, you can watch all these vlogs in 4k so it's pretty dope all the drone footage should be in 4k as well i just want to give a huge welcome to all the new subscribers the channel has been blowing up a little bit recently and it's pretty sick we're almost to 20,000 already it's pretty crazy so huge welcome to all the new subscribers thank you for subscribing to the channel there's one thing i wanted to say if there's anything that you think i could work on on, on the channel to make the videos and the vlogs more entertaining at all I feel like I have good days and I still have bad days. I'm still kind of new at vlogging, so some days my energy just isn't there. Other days, like today, I feel like my energy is just popping and it kind of shows through on the camera. So I still have really good days on, on camera, still have really bad days. Something, I'm, something I just gotta work on personally. That's kind of the whole reason I started vlogging in the first place and recording myself and putting my face on the camera is because I've always been like, how do I put this? The last three years I did online in school, so I, I wasn't really out in public much. Um, growing up, I was, me and all my brothers were kind of secluded due to religion shit. And so speaking in public and on camera and all that's been really, it's always been really, really awkward for me. I feel like I've came a long way in the last year and a half. If you go back and watch one of my first videos, maybe I'll throw a little, a little clip on the screen. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download a new map onto your car. Uh, using a Tactrix cable. I, have I feel like I've came a long way, but I know there's so much so much further I can go with public speaking, being on camera and all that. But if anyone has any tips, just drop them down in the comment section below uh, to make the videos, the vlogs more entertaining. I'd really appreciate that. I always love to hear your feedback and I try to put it to good use on camera. Either way, I really hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs these days. I'm trying to do little cinematic edits here and there in the videos. Not all of them get the cinematic edits, but most of them do. So. I feel like that adds a lot to the videos. Now with all that being said, if there's anyone watching this that wants to start a YouTube channel, the best piece of advice I could give you is just to start. Like I've said, I've done this, been doing this for about a year and a half now, and it's just now finally paying off. I'm getting a lot better on camera. These subscribers are finally coming in. The views are getting there. Um, so just start. I know there's a few of my friends that have recently started within the last month or so. And one thing I need to say to you, if you're watching this right now, 
stick with it. It takes forever. This shit does not happen overnight. And I promise it'll pay off in the end. You'll figure out your, your path you wanna take with your channel, whether that be lifestyle, gym, fitness stuff, um, just regular vlogs, or if you wanna be Logan Paul, if you wanna be freaking Casey Neistat, your, your channel will take a path and you'll eventually see the future, see the, like, the, the end goal and the horizon, and you'll figure out how to get there eventually. I promise it'll pay off in the end. That kinda goes for anything in life though. I feel like this is like a lifestyle vlog already. Um, that kinda goes for anything in life. I feel like with cars, with fitness, with relationships, with anything, if you just stick with it and you figure it out, there's definitely gonna be amazing things that come from it, so yeah. Anything you're doing, grind through the shitty times, grind through those tough times, and what you can accomplish if you just stick with something for years on end, is it's absolutely mind blowing. First things first, let's throw on this toast shop on the Evo. I've been needing to do this for like a week now, but as you know, the thing took so long to come in, for whatever reason, USPS was like a week late delivering that damn toast shop. If you guys wanna pick one up, I'll have it linked down in the description box below. It's like $12 on eBay. And I'm not actually gonna be using it for towing. I'm just using it for looks to just cover that. Ow, my back. To cover that left side up. This thing is JDM as shit. It's gonna look so sick on there. It's kinda ricey, ain't gonna lie. I just gotta figure out where to screw it onto. I don't really wanna screw onto my bumper, or my diffuser. Let me show you how it looks right now with just an open hole. Looks kinda funny, huh? With nothing there. Let's see where I can put this thing at. Like I said, I'm not using it to tow, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, that's so racy. <laughs> Is that sick? Should I do it like that or what up? I guess that works. I just throw a little screw into the to the bumper, I guess. Huh, I don't really know. Whatever works, I guess. <laughs> Gotta have that Supreme stick it out so everyone knows I am a baller like that, you know what I'm saying? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, is this not the riciest thing I've ever done on my Evo? But hey, it kind of covers it up. I don't know why I did red, honestly. It's not bad. It's kind of racy. <laughs> Check it out. I feel like if I would have done black, it would probably look a lot cleaner. So maybe I'll pick up a black one. Whatever. It'll get dirty. I'm just going to run this red one for now because that's what I have. Uh, what else? Oh, quick little update on the FRS issues. That wide body panel I'm going to be dropping off. Today, I believe, to get fixed. I need to peel all of this wrap off though. So, and I'm kind of excited to rewrap this thing. It's not in the best condition anymore. That diffuser kind of chewed it up on the bottom. But he said it's gonna be about $50 to fix the fiberglass, which is way cheaper than buying a new wide body panel. So I'm gonna drop that off, probably on my bike. I'll just throw it in my backpack and run it out. He's like an hour away, so it's kind of far. Um, so I'll just take my bike. But let's peel some wrap off this wide body panel. Then I'll go drop it off later on today. And then when I get it back, I'll rewrap it. Maybe I'll give you guys a little tutorial on that. All right, I got that piece all peeled up, all cleaned up and ready to go. Check it out. So boring looking with no color on it. It should be good to go though. So that's how it looks right now. Take a good look at it. And then I'll show it to you in a few days when I get it back and hopefully he does a good job on it and I can just get it wrapped and thrown on the car. Get that thing ready to go. Man, I don't know about this toast shop. It's kind of... Let me know in the comments below. Is it is it hella ricey on this car? It's kind of like pink too. It's not even red. What do you think? Let me know. All right, let's talk about building some power on an Evo 10. So this goes mainly for GSRs. MRs are always gonna be a little bit less horsepower because of the automatic transmission. I wanna tell you how you can build a Evo 10, a GSR model to 350 horsepower at the wheels on a DynoJet Dyno for under $1,000. There's only a few things you're gonna need. Everything you're gonna need, I'll have linked down in the description box below. So you're gonna need a catback exhaust, a test pipe, some sort of intake. I would recommend just an HKS drop-in filter, an upper intercooler pipe, and a tune. You can get all that for under $1,000. Let me tell you how. So you can pick up a catback exhaust, like a Manzo system online on eBay for $355 shipped. It's a dual exhaust system, three inch. They're very solid systems. It's not gonna be a Tomai or anything like I have on my Evo personally, but for the price, they're amazing systems. I'd recommend that. Now for a test pipe, Circuit Works makes a decent test pipe, stainless steel for $110 shipped. It's, test pipes aren't anything crazy. It's just a short piece of pipe that replaces the cat. So pick one of those up. HKS drop-in filters are 50 bucks shipped. And then what else do you need? An upper intercooler pipe, 
I know Depot Racing makes a very solid upper intercooler pipe for $110 shipped. The lower intercooler pipe and the factory intercooler on the Evo 10s are plenty solid for 350 horsepower at the wheels. The weak link is definitely the upper intercooler pipe. So pick one of those up. After you get all that done, you're gonna need a tune. I would recommend going through Chet Rickerman. He can email you, it's, it's called e-tuning. So what he does, he emails you over a map. You, you load it onto your car using a Tactrix cable in your laptop. And then what you do, you data log your car, take the data log, send it back to him. He'll adjust whatever needs to be adjusted, the fueling, the timing, anything like that. He'll send the new map back to you and then you load it back in your car, go on a drive and just repeat that process Tell your car is making good power, is running properly, everything's in check. One thing I probably should mention is some tuners are gonna recommend and require actually that you pick up a some sort of boost control solenoid, so an EBCS. I know Grim Speed makes a good one. I'm pretty sure Cobb makes them for the Evos as well. I know they do for Subarus. I'm not sure, bomb, sure on Evos, but I'll have one of those linked down below as well. I think they're around $110, $120. Not all tuners recommend them. Some prefer stock boost control solenoids. Some prefer the like a Grim Speed EBCS. Some prefer even a manual boost controller. So just talk to whatever your tune, whatever tuner you're going to use and see what they prefer, what they like to tune with. Now one thing you can do if you don't want to go the e-tune route, you can pick up a Cobb access port. That is going to put the price over $1,000, but they're very easy to use. It's just like a little handheld tablet device that you plug into your OBD2 port and tune your car off that. I think those are roughly 500 to, what's the V3, like 550 I believe. So if you want to pick one of those up, I might as well throw that down below as well. Um, like I said, it's going to put the price over $1,000, but they're very nice to have. I personally don't have one. I just go the e-tuning route because it's cheaper and yeah, that's the main reason why. It's just cheaper. I'll throw a chat recommends email down in the description box below as well. You can send them over an email and get your tune done that way. Very, very simple to do. But literally guys, that's all you need to get to a thousand or a thousand horsepower. That's literally all you need to get to 350 horsepower at the wheels on Evo 10. It's very easily obtainable and you can do it for under thousand dollars. So if you pick up an Evo 10, I don't know why you would keep it stock. You can make it way faster for less than a thousand bucks. So go pick up all these parts down in the description box below. You can also save money by finding stuff used. But everything I have down below is going to be good quality. It's going to last a long time. It's just not going to be like tow my exhaust quality. Everything I have down below will work just perfectly fine for you though. I would not recommend you very terrible parts. All right, there's not much else I can do on the Evo until I get my, what do I need? From my intercooler kit, I still need the oil feed line. There's a little fitting for the oil return line I need as well. As soon as I get all that, we can start the turbo build. But for now, I think I'm gonna start working on the FRS. I've been putting this off for a while, trying to get this front to drop a little lower. And there's two different ways I could go about this. Number one is get, or rebarrel the wheels, get smaller tires. Number two is pull the fenders off, the front fenders off and see if I can somehow clearance up there. Cause what's happening right now is the front tire is sitting up on, it's like a, the frame, it's not really a frame rail. It's a, I'll show it to you when I get those fenders off, but it's just sitting on the metal up there. So if I can like clearance the metal and like form it up, push it up a little bit with a hammer or something, or just cut it and reweld it. Um, I'll go that route, excuse me. I'll go that route, but I'm gonna get those fenders pulled off and see what we can do. Hopefully I can get this front to drop down. I want it like an inch lower. So that'd be super sick. As you can see, I got the whole front fender pulled off, not just the over fender, but the actual fender, the metal fender itself. I'm gonna air out and see exactly what it's hitting on and see if I can just clean that up a little bit. That'd be super, super sick if I could and make this job a whole lot easier and then I could actually air out how I want to. Basically all this metal right here, the tire sit, it rests down on when I air out, the tire hits all that metal. So what I'm gonna do, pull this wheel off, take a hammer and try to see if I can bend that up a little bit. Honestly, that did not change anything at all. It's still like a two finger gap. I guess that really only leaves me with that one other option, which is getting a smaller tire. The only problem with that is I would have to rebuild these work wheels. I'd have to get a smaller barrel. So the inner barrel, the inner part of the wheel is called the barrel. I have to get that like an inch narrower. So I dropped it down an inch. I could go from a 255 tire 
down to like a 235. But anyways, that didn't work at all. What I just did, it did absolutely nothing. So I'm just gonna put the car back together for now. Just leave it how it is. It'll be fine for the shows I'm going to. Uh, maybe this winter when I want to kind of want to rewrap the car Maybe I'll rebuild the wheels at the same time or just get a whole new set of wheels guess we'll see stay tuned on the channel subscribe if you're not already mm. Is that is it low enough? Well, I mean, yeah. How? Well, I don't know you just knock off all your panels when we go. Oh, it's sad. Ew, it's so dirty in there. Mm -hmm. I know you like you want it like the SCI. Gangster. Yeah, lots of <laughs> what did what did we just do on the L? <laughs> Everything. We did the trunk. We fixed latch, the trunk. Trunk latch. So it opens. Mm-hmm. Okay. And AC. Yeah. And now you can sell the damn thing. Ew. The other day when someone came to look at the car, they tried to open the trunk and it didn't open, so they didn't want it. And then they noticed it's all messed up. Because this car is actually rear-ended in the back when she bought it. Um, it had already been rear-ended and fixed. But they did a terrible job. It's shitty. So I kind of just fixed it now. So now the trunk opens. And then we fixed the AC. So yeah, someone can buy it now. I know. I thought it was working on the way over here. And I'm like sweating hot, wondering why <laughs> it felt so weird. You're silly girl. I know. Bobby's gonna be the official rice master. We're gonna go ask her how ricey the the toe strap is on Evo. You ready? She's gonna she's gonna like it because it says Supreme on it. I have a feeling. I want an APR wing on it. Why? That one's just not cool enough. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. A little ricey. A little bit. A little bit, but it still looks good. That guy's pink. It's red. And it says Supreme. It's red. I know it is red. Supreme is cool. And it's 12 bucks on eBay, you want one? <laughs> no. For my Genesis? Yeah. The next thing we're going to be installing on my Genesis is going to be the exhaust. I've actually got, there's actually been a few of you that have wanting, been wanting to see Genesis mods. So as soon as, I told Bobby as soon as she sells the, the uh, Legacy, then she could buy exhaust for the Genesis. And it's going to sound sick. You told me that. Yeah. I can buy it whenever I want. You can't buy it whenever you want because you got poop on your butt, babe. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> she can't buy it whenever she wants because she spends so much money on other stuff. Like so I, what? Freaking vacation. I have to be her financial advisor. Oh, please. Anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up the video. I, th <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty interesting. So if you enjoyed it, go down below, smash that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed already to the channel, make sure you do that because. Yeah, there's gonna be some insane <laughs> Evo I'm cool. <laughs> because I'm hella cool like that. There's gonna be some insane Evo content coming out soon. So yeah, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye. No, babe, I don't have any.